Hi crafters, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can use the Many Messages stamp set as well as the coordinating die. Now the stamp comes in one sheet of red rubber um, so you can cut or you can stamp and then cut everything in one shot. And it's got a couple of um, embellishment details, the stars and the hearts, which will help you line up your die with your stamped image. Now, you might not want every single die shape cut or every single stamp cut. So I'm going to, or stamped. So I'm going to show you how you can get just what you want instead of the entire thing. So let's say I wanted this, just a card to say hello. All I'm going to do is take sticky notes and create a frame around what I don't want. And then that way, when I go to stamp, the only thing that I'm going to get, these are not very sticky, sticky notes. Um, all I'm going to get is the image that I want. So I'm just going to bring in my memento, stamp it up, and then take your stickies off so that you don't get an impression that you don't want. Um, and I'm just grabbing a piece of paper and stamping it. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm stamping it upside down, but you would, of course, do it the right way. And then there's your image that you want. Now, this also comes with a sticker sheet that has all of the sentiments on it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get this huge sticker onto this stamp without too much muss and fuss. And I'm going to be using my Stamparatus for this because it makes the job so easy. Okay, so I've already got my sticker on one side of my Stamparatus. I haven't taken off the paper that's going to make it stick to the back side yet because I need to make sure that this is going to be positioned exactly where I want it to be. What I'm going to do is take the bottom corner of my stamp to the bottom corner of my sticker and I'm going to line it up on here first. Let me just make sure it's exactly where I want it to be. Okay, and then I'm going to put my hand here. Oops, it slid. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to put my hand here and I'm going to close the Stamparatus and drop my stamp into where I want it to be. Now, I'm going to gingerly put my finger here. It's going to be in position. Now, I'm when I go to put my sticker on, I'm going to make sure that it's exactly where I need it to be. But I'm just going to peel off the backing paper. Set that off to the side and peel off the second one. Now, I do find that the sticker is really sticky. So before I put it onto my stamping platform, um, I tapped it off onto my arm a couple of times just to make sure that it wasn't going to adhere super, super tight. Okay, so now before I press down, I'm going to make sure that it's lined up exactly where I want it to be. Oh, that looks pretty perfect. So then I'm just going to press and stick my sticker on. And then I'm going to very carefully peel it up. And then there you go. Your sticker is on. You might need to work on it um, and press down just to make sure that there's no bubbling or waffling. And then I like to tap it on my arm because it is super sticky. And I have heard tales um, of the sticker staying on the stamp block and the foam peeling away. Um, but if you're really ginger and careful when you do it, um, and I find sticking my thumb underneath a corner or even the spatula end of my take your pick tool, um, just stick it under and then pry it up and be careful. There is no issue at all. So I've shown you how to do one of the stamps. Now, if you want to do one or a couple um, without having to do the entire sheet, 
all you need to do is take a piece of designer series paper or um, regular cardstock to whatever size and then just line it up. Um, usually I stamp my image first, line it up, and then just run it through your embossing machine. So now we're gonna do the full meal deal. I've got my piece of paper cut to, whoops, these magnets are super sticky. Um, Stamparatus tip. Make sure that you either keep your magnets far apart from each other because if they go together, they could and do smash. They're still usable. Um, so if you have a jagged edge, if that does happen, just wrap some washi tape around it so you don't nick your fingers. Um, anyway, this is cut to five inches by eight and a half, which is the size slightly bigger than the size that I need um, for my die. So that's gonna give me room to put my magnet. And then I'm gonna line up my stamp onto my paper and then I'm just going to close it and let's see I'm going to do um, what color am I going to do oh, I, you know what I usually stamp in black so today I'm going to change it up a bit and do Pacific Point Okay, so then I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna take this magnet out and actually stick it in the back. There's two spots to stick the magnet. I'm gonna flip this open, make sure everything is still in the window. Um, and what I'm gonna do actually is slide my stamp set under so that I'm working on a flat, flattish surface. go and sorry my husband was just pointing to me through the window um I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that this is centered before I press down and apply a good bit of pressure this stamparatus is awesome if you have limited mobility or limited strength in your hand um if you're doing multiples or really fine detail stamps, it gives you the opportunity to do more than one impression in exactly the same place. Okay, this isn't going to matter because it's going to be hidden. Um, so I'm going to pull this out, close this for the moment and just move it off to the side. I'll clean it when I'm done. Now you can see that... When I go to line this up, I'll have the stars and the heart that I can use for my points of reference to make sure that this is going to cut out exactly the way that it should. Um, one tip, and I don't have any handy, um, is to use washi tape to hold your... Um, your die still when you run it through your embossing machine. You can also, I'm just reaching for some sticky notes here. If you have some sticky, sticky notes, you can also just place it and it should provide just enough stick um, that when you have it lined up, it will keep it where you need it to be um, as you're placing it on the plate. So I'm just gonna stick my sticky note down. And then for its first ever debut on a video that I'm doing, I'm going to bring in my embossing machine. This is brand new from Stampin' Up. Um, it replaced the Big Shot and it's actually really quite fabulous. So it will probably shake a little bit as I'm doing the cutting. But actually I'm going to do it this way it's a little bit more even. So I'm just going to make sure that it's lined up exactly where it needs to be. So I'm lining up the hearts and the stars and making sure that the sentiments are where they should be as well. And then I'm going to, I prefer to go put the top on first and then work down 
um, because I find personally that that's how it works better for me. So you're going to turn it the direction that you want it to move and make sure that there's nothing in the way that's going to stop it from laying flat or going. Okay. Oops. All right. Hand strength is an issue today. Don't worry about the pops and cracks as it goes. That's just one of the uh, signs that it's working. It is perfectly normal. The first time I had pops and cracks, I had a bit of a panic attack as well. Okay, so normally when I do this, I'm standing up. Um, so hand strength isn't an issue for me. And it is so much easier to run through um, than the big shot was. Okay, so I'm just going to take my cutting plate off. I'm going to take this off. And, whoops. Okay, there we go. There's all of our pieces cut out and ready to go. So there is a little bit of blue um, on the happy anniversary. That was a little bit of overzealous stamping on my part. But I can fix that quite simply by doing exactly the same thing on the other side and just adding a little bit of ink directly from my ink pad to make it look like it was purposeful. All right, so if you are in Canada and you would like to shop with me, um, you can visit my Stampin' Up! store, andreaastinson.stampinup.net. I do videos on YouTube almost every Tuesday and Friday um, in February. My YouTube videos are going to be focused on technique. Um, if you have any questions, send me an email, andreaastinson at gmail.com or prairie sky paper crafts at gmail.com and head over to my facebook page prairie sky paper crafts i hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching